I'm Kim and this is my January book haul. I'm not sure if I'm going to film a book haul every month. This month I've got a couple of books to show you, most of them ebooks, so I don't really have much to hold up into the camera. But in the end I really did get quite a few books this month, so I decided, or last month, whatever, so I decided to film this video for you today. I'm not going to go into much or any detail about the books because all of them I plan to read or some of I have already read so you will get some information about them in my wrap-ups or TBR videos and I'll obviously link all the Goodreads links and maybe Amazon or whatever down below in the info bar so you can check them out if you're interested. So for the first two books and the only books I actually got physical, physical copies of they are the Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier and oh, here we are The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adier. As you can tell they don't match. I actually wanted to get matching copies and I did want to get this edition because it was the edition I knew and yeah I ordered them off of the book depository and I got two different editions. So I was pretty unhappy with it, but I contacted, contacted their customer service and they were really nice and so everything's worked out now. And yeah, I still kind of regret that I do not have matching copies, but I kind of really like this copy more or this edition more than this edition. So yeah, it worked out either way. Other than those two, I only bought one other book, which was we Should All Be Feminist by Chimanda Ngozi Adichie, which I got off of um, which I got off of Amazon as an e-copy, ebook copy, whatever. You know what I mean. I've already read that one, and if you're interested in it, you can go check out my January wrap-up because I talked about it in that video. So those were the only books I actually bought in January because in January I discovered NetGalley. And so I kind of requested some books and I made a mistake I believe because I didn't really know how quick they were to grant requests and like how hard it was to get a request or to get a request approved or not approved or just how it really worked in the end. So I requested quite a few books and got approved for most of them. So I do have quite a few books from that galley that I really need to review because that's the point of Net Galley. You request a book, you get approved, you review it, review it. So yeah, I should have kind of gone a little slower and just requested one book and then maybe once I finished that one requested another. But as I said but as I said I didn't really know like how it really worked or I knew how it was supposed to work but I wasn't sure like how easily you get approved or if you have a really hard time getting approved or yeah that kind of stuff so whatever the first um time i kind of went on that galley i went to the german net galley site so um most well no all of the books i got from there are german books that aren't available in english yet but i'm just gonna quickly run through it um, because i got them as well in january so i don't really want to just leave them out the first two I already talked about in my January wrap up. They are Fairies Kristallblau by Stephanie Dehm as well as Die Feuerheilerin by Ursula Neb. I also got another historical fiction which is Die Rote Löwen by Thomas Zibula. Then I got another YA fantasy which is Demon Hearts and Angel Wings by Jana Goldbach as well as a cybercrime thriller kind of novel which is Glasshouse by Christian Geilus. Yeah, and in the beginning I was going to say almost all of them, but then I changed my mind and said all of them were in German, which isn't true. Two of them are actually not German books and they are available in English. One of them is The Crown Conspiracy, which is the first book in the Ruria Revelations. If you've watched my January wrap up, you know that Ruria isn't really a word I'm, no, I know how to pronounce. I'm always having trouble with it, so please just excuse that. Also, please excuse any other weird noises. My cat just came in and is doing weird stuff, so just ignore him. The last book I got off of the German Net Galley site is The Sleeping Prince, which is the second book in the Sin Eater's Daughter series, and um, it is by Melinda Salisbury. The other one, The Crown's Conspiracy, is by 
Michael J. Sullivan, I think I forgot to mention that. And um, problem is The Sleeping Prince is the second book in the series, which I didn't know because it wasn't stated anywhere. So I now got the second book in the series, which I haven't read the first one of. So yeah, I kind of need to look for the first book in the series so I can read the second one. Then I also um, signed up for the English or American or British. I don't know what NetGalley site because I prefer to read my books in English. And I requested three books from there. All of them um, fantasy. The first one is Frost by Caitlin Davis, which I haven't read yet. The second book and as well as the third book I'm currently reading. And um, the second one is At Water's Edge by S. McPherson, which again is a YA fantasy. And the third one is also YA fantasy, but a high fantasy, whereas um, At Water's Edge is a contemporary fantasy. And it is Quests for Kings. No, The Quests for the Kings. And it's the first book in the Quests for the King series. And it's by Robert Everett. Also got one other book. And it's of Kith and Kin by an author whose name I forgot. I'm so sorry. She contacted me on Instagram and asked if I would like to read her book and, and write a review for it. And since the synopsis sounded really interested, I said yes. Of course, why not? I would really love to. And so... She sent me an e-copy or an e-book of her book, which is only available as an e-book. So I'm going to say e-book a lot right now. Yeah, whatever. So I also got this one. It's also a historical fiction. It's taking place, I think, in England around the time of industrialization. But I might be wrong because I should have really looked this up before I started the video, but yeah, whatever. As with all the other books, I'll leave links down below and I've of a lot of I've and I'll of course also link to her Instagram and as well as her page, blog, whatever. Yeah, and that's it for all the books I got in January. I hope you liked this video, I hope you didn't mind my cat or you didn't hear my cat. Let's hope that's the case. And yeah, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe and leave me a comment. Tell me if you've read any of the books I talked about or what books you bought in January. And tell me what your experiences with NetGalley are if you have any. So yeah, bye!